Diamond Ore Road, take me home to the plane. Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Sorry, my son and I were going a little nuts with the world edit feature. Let me teach you how to do it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is if you don't have a command block, come up here, press give at p command block, and that'll give you a command block. Right like that. Then you want to place down four command blocks like this, each one skipping uh, a block. They don't have to be exactly like this, just as long as they're not touching. Then between two of those command blocks, you want to place a comparator. And on the other two command blocks, you want to place buttons. Then close to the command blocks, create a five by five platform or honestly, any size platform you want. After that, make sure you have your coordinates on, come over to one corner, write those coordinates down, come over to the opposite corner and write those coordinates down. Now, take the first command block, open it up and type in this command, enchant at P, unless there's more than one person on your server, then you want to put your tag name if you want all the control, efficiency three. Then in the command block that is after the one that you just did, open it up and type in this command. Execute, which means you're going to execute a command, at P, tag equals brush, which means we are going to create a tag on a player and give it to him and it's going to be titled brush. Then caret, caret, caret five, that basically says that uh, the command is going to start happening five blocks away from wherever I'm facing. Clone, and then you put in the first set of coordinates. Then the next set of coordinates, write them down, but add five to the middle coordinate. The last thing you're going to type is squiggle, negative three, squiggle, negative three, squiggle, negative three and then masked. Make sure that both of these blocks are turned to repeat, which makes them turn purple, and then put a switch on it to turn them off and on. Then over here on these blocks, open one up, type in tag at p add brush. That basically gives me the ability to use the brush. Tag at p remove brush. Removes the ability for me to use the brush. Now let me explain to you real quickly how all these commands work. We are going to enchant an item at P at efficiency three. Anything that can have efficiency three is essentially going to turn on this, this block, which powers this block, which turns on the paint option. Now over here on your platform, you can make whatever shape you want with whatever block you want. So we're gonna use diamond ore just for fun. And we are going to make a mountain of diamond ore. Now, don't make it higher than five blocks, because if you remember, we did our starting coordinate here and then our end coordinate here plus five blocks. Make sure your uh, clock is on. Grab something that can have efficiency three. And you'll see your uh, stuff going nuts over here to the side, your messages, and then start moving around and it immediately starts painting. When you want to stop painting, just switch away from the thing that has efficiency. And then when you want to start painting it again, switch it back. Start moving around. If you want something else, you can break these blocks because these are the things that are being cloned. Let's say we want jack-o'-lanterns, but we want those mixed with stone. You can do that as well. Okay guys, I hope this helps you edit your worlds. Uh, I've read that it helps to start this in a super flat world so that you can build whatever you want. Also keep in mind when you get far enough away from the redstone, it stops working. So when you are done building in one area and need to move to the other area, you'll have to redo the clock 
in the new area. Thanks for watching.